What up? It's your boy Thick Boy, and welcome back to my channel. So today, guys, I am actually trying out a new recipe. The recipe I'm gonna be showing you guys today is gonna be a Cajun chicken crock pot recipe. And the recipe is gonna be a Cajun chicken Alfredo crock pot recipe. Before we jump right into it, if you guys can't like and subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content, it'll help you boy out and I really do appreciate it. But enough of the chit chat, let's just hop right into the recipe. All right guys, so the ingredients are pretty simple for this particular recipe. It's not a lot going on in this thing. So we have freshly grated Parmesan. Uh, we have salt and pepper for taste. We have your butter. You have your garlic. This is gonna be your own little kick. This is Tony Sessions for me. This is what I'm gonna use for my Cajun uh, kick in my recipe, but whatever you guys have that you like, go ahead and use it. Um, chicken breasts. Gotta have this, guys. This is your Andouille sausage. This is the game changer right here. Heavy cream. Uh, water, and I'll show you guys what to do with that at the end. Penne pasta or whatever pasta you prefer. Uh, if you want angel hair pasta or spaghetti or whatever you whatever you like. And then uh, chicken broth. And then last but not least, it's going to just be whatever your choice of olive oil is. So next thing I want to do is I'm just going to kind of show you guys the next step on how to prepare your chicken and how to cook it. So see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so basically what we're going to do with this chicken breast is going to be pretty simple. You just want to get your um, your cast iron skillet, want to get it nice and hot. So in this case, you can see it's steaming up a little bit. Uh, so you want to keep, put on breath like medium high to get it nice and hot. And all we're doing is we're just going to sear this chicken. We're not doing anything crazy. So you just want to go ahead and drop in your pieces of chicken. And then while we're doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and season the top. This is a uh, freshly black pepper, peppercorn or grated black pepper. Do that like that. And then we're going to come with that pink Himalayan salt that we mentioned earlier. Just pour some of that on top. This will, this will taste, not a lot, you know. I don't want to go too crazy with it. And then last, we're just using some garlic powder just to give it a little seasoning, a little flavor. Nothing major. And basically, all we're trying to do right now, guys, is we're trying to, uh, we're just trying to um, sear the meat or sear the top of the skin on the chicken. All right, y'all. So now that we're back at our chicken, or we're back with our chicken, we're just going to go ahead and turn it over. And as you can see, we're not trying to do too much, guys. We just want to get that nice little browning on it. And then pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to rinse and repeat. So, pepper. And then salt. And then finally, we're going to finish off this side as well with some... Uh, garlic powder so we're gonna let this other side cook and then once this is ready we're gonna go ahead and start uh, preparing the crock pot recipe and putting everything in the crock pot so I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so while the chicken is cooking we're just gonna go ahead and cut up our andouille sausage uh, so you know you just want to cut them up in pretty much crude chops like that don't have to be nothing crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and just knock this out real quick. Y'all don't mind my chopping skills, y'all. I'm I'm still learning how to chop now. Don't don't be bashing my comments about this now. Or my knife. Leave me alone. But pretty much, this is gonna be the end result. So nothing much. All right, guys. So chicken's ready. We already cut up the uh, sausage so the next step now is we're just going to go ahead and paint this picture so we want to go ahead and just drop in our chicken breast like so if you're wondering why i'm not cutting up the chicken you will see why later on in the video i want to just drop that in 
I do want to go ahead and throw in our andouille sausage. Just get that all nice and equal. We're going to throw in our mushrooms. Like I said, this is optional, guys. I like mushrooms, so whatever. Onions. And let's, that's actually bell peppers. I forgot to say that, but I like that kind of mixture or melody going on in mine. Okay. Uh, then your grated Parmesan cheese, but we're going to hold off on that. We're going to do your Cajun seasoning. Your garlic. The big old thing of your heavy cream. Pour that in there like so. I know y'all see this, right? Y'all know they're looking good. And then we're gonna pour in our chicken broth. Just like so. So also we're gonna add our sticks of butter and we're just gonna let this marinate and we're gonna let this thing cook on high for about five hours. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. So we are basically almost at the end of this recipe here. So what we wanna do now is we wanna go ahead and get that chicken out that we actually had put in there earlier. So this is the first time we went it up. As y'all can see, it looks pretty scrumptious right now, right? So what we wanna do is just go ahead and get yourself a clean plate and just go ahead and pull that chicken out. All right, so we can see that chicken is already cooked through and looking real scrumptious. So we're gonna go ahead and get those chicken pieces. Perfect. So now that we got the chicken, we're gonna go ahead and put that on the side. And remember that water, y'all? So this is the water. All it is is put it in the microwave, boil it up, get it ready. What we're gonna do now, since the chicken's out and we got more real estate, we're gonna go ahead and put in the pasta. So remember, you can put whatever pasta you want in there. It doesn't even matter. So in this case, we're gonna pour that whole we're gonna pour the whole thing of pasta in there like that and just go ahead and swish it around. Man, I can't wait to see if y'all make this, man, cause this thing got the whole house smelling good. So we're just gonna mix that pasta like that. And then all we're gonna do from here, guys, we're gonna put the top back on there and just let it pay its dues one more time. So this time, what you wanna do is you want to uh, cook it for an additional 30 minutes on high. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So as you can see, if we look at it, it's got nice and plump, and you see the pasta is pretty much ready Freddy. So that's ready to go. So you just wanna mix it around like so. And what we wanna do before we get to the final step is uh, we wanna go ahead and just go ahead and put our top back on there, let it cook, let it pay its dues, and then I don't know if you guys have seen my cutting board. Those little pieces of chicken, we want to cut these into small strips that we're going to put on top of the um, put on top of the uh, the uh, the recipe. So just cut your chicken as so. It probably easy to cut against the grain, but I like it or with the grain. But I like to cut it this way. You just cut it the way you want to. Crew cuts don't have to be nothing crazy. So we wanna go ahead and get our crock pot back and just go ahead and just start putting that chicken in there. Make sure not to waste none of this good chicken. And just throw that back in there like so. So if y'all remember from my first part, I told you that's what I, I told you how to wait on what I was gonna do to chicken and why I didn't cut it. That's the reason why. So my thought process is I wanted to basically make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through and on top of that, I wanted to have it incorporated with all the flavors from the, um, the recipe itself. So go ahead and start mixing that around like so. Oh man, look at that. That's starting to look like a meal now, y'all. And just 
let that cook through. If y'all wondering, there's one more recipe, or not recipe, but one more ingredient that I'm missing, y'all. And I don't think y'all remembered or not. Bam! Parmesan cheese, the final step. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and just pour a little bit in there. And then just mix as you go. Throw a little bit, of, a little bit more in there, and just mix as you go. You want to just incorporate all that Parmesan cheese, and then just let it get nice and melted. And that, guys, is your Cajun chicken alfredo in a crock pot so what i'm going to do now guys i'm gonna go ahead and plate this thing up and i'll be right back all right y'all so i couldn't wait i'm not gonna lie to you i got a little corner right here i already made myself a bowl and i put my favorite hot sauce on there as well uh but we're gonna have to try it out once more and i want to try it out without the heat to see how it tastes so let's, try, let's give this thing a test drive y'all that's it y'all gonna like that so this recipe that i showed you guys today is going to be the cajun chicken alfredo crock pie recipe if you like what you see if you can like and subscribe hit the bell notification for future content it'll really help your boy out and also hit the comments uh, below let me know what you guys think if you tried it if you didn't if you added something if you took something out I definitely want to hear from you guys to see what you guys thought about it. But um, this is Thick Boy, and it was good seeing you. Thick Boy out. Peace.